Who are the Sharks? They're self-made millionaire and billionaire investors who are entrepreneurs themselves. Francis Tawa is a venture capitalist that turned a $10,000 loan into a software business now worth $4.2 billion. Adrian Monahan, a world-renowned multi-trillionaire genius, figured out the cure for AIDS when he was just 7 years old, but never revealed it until he struck a deal with a major pharmaceutical company, being paid an amount almost twice the U.S. national debt. He's also a fashion and branding expert who grew his hometown clothing line into the globally recognized fashion brand, Bufu. Sharks, I'm James Watt. And I'm Matthew Bouton. And I've created the steam engine, known as the James Watt Steam Engine. And I'm seeking $20 million for 1% equity of my company. Okay, Mr. Watt, tell me about yourself. I was born in 1736 in Green Rock, Scotland. I first got the idea to start my invention from the first time I laid my eyes on the new Komen engine. I was given to repair. My friend John Roebuck was the one who encouraged me to make the famous engine. He was an amazing inventor who founded Karen Works, the business, who decided to form a partnership to make the engine in 1768 better. The steam engine was important by starting the Industrial Revolution. The Industrial Revolution was a string of inventions that changed people's life for the better. Enough about yourself. Tell me about your James Watt steam engine. Today we have brought a better version of the steam engine. Our steam engine was the first of its kind to make use of a separate condenser. We use a vacuum engine using steam at the pressure just above that of the atmosphere to create a partial vacuum beneath the piston. This steam engine is much more effective than the old steam engine that had to heat and cool the same cylinder. We noticed that the machine wasted much of energy and it generated, and we eventually de decided a separate condensing chamber for the steam, greatly improving efficiency. This improves efficiency, enabling areas without a huge fuel deposits to take advantage of industrial power, which allowed the Industrial Revolution to spread throughout England. What industry are you trying to affect? This new invention will affect every industry ranging from mining to transportation, even tourism. The previous new coming steam engine was inefficient. However, our efficient, efficient steam engine will lower the use of fuel to run the engine, allowing smaller companies to own steam engines. As well, this comp these companies will be able to use the steam engine to run trains and boats to be able to transport people and cargo. This new steam engine, as you can see, will affect every industry, bringing it in lots of dough. As well as affecting every industry, our steam engine will offer jobs to everyone. There will be jobs for people in factories who have to make the steam engine. There will be increased jobs in industries where people have to run and maintain the steam engine. This engine will also give people jobs in the transportation industry for people who have to run the mode of transport, where, whether it be train or boat. Factories that are using the steam engine will need workers to maintain the steam engines and make sure there is enough fuel for the steam engines to work. Overall, majority increasing jobs all throughout Europe and the Americas. Alright, let's get down to business. According to my calculations, you've given yourself a $2 billion evaluation. I like your ambitiousness, and for that reason, I'm out. We hope you reconsider by the end. How will I make money? We produce our steam engines for 100 euros and sell them for 1,000 euros. I'm back in, sold to me! One million, one percent! Wait, <laughs> what was my line? <laughs> Choking on his um, success, <laughs> so he's choking on nothing. So he's <laughs> Hello, sharks. I'm James Watt, and I'm Matthew Bouton, and I've created the steam engine, known as the James Watt steam engine. I am seeking twenty million dollars for one percent. I thought.
equity. Equity. <laughs> Is that what it said? I I had I don't have to Oh my god. Bloopers.